Hi guys. Let me in on a little secret. So if you've ever used Power Excel on a Mac, you might be missing the Power Query editor, Power Query thingy, Power Query component. But with, with the latest updates, Power Query is actually available and you can, you can open it uh, clicking on, on data and here it is get data power query editor and there's even an option that allows you to launch power query editor that's perfect you might thought huh but <laughs> the, one of the most important features that i use really often within power query editor is the web connector and unfortunately that's not available in power bi for mac at least it seems so let's see so if I go to get data and I can click on more, um, there's a really limited list of connectors that I can choose from. And if I click on file, other services, there's only, there's only really basic connectors here. Uh, I don't like that. How, how is that even possible? Web should be one of the most basic connectors and even all data is there or, or SharePoint. And these are all based off web connector. How is it that there is no web connector here? And that's a question that still bugs me to that day, but let me show you what trick. So if I go to a blank query, and of course um, I get the blank query uh, editor here. And if I, instead of me using a user interface, so graphical interface to, to, to get a data, I can just simply type in the formulas. So if I go to, um, to, to Chrome, to my browser. And if I look up, if let me just duplicate that. And if I look up for web contents, that's, that's the function that should allow me to, to query, to, to, to issue web requests, to, to access APIs. This is what I want essentially. So if I copy this and paste it here in the Power Query editor, and let me, let me find an API to use let's say this rest countries apparently this is an api which gives you a list of all countries uh, if i put that in here and click on next will it com complain okay it will because it needs credentials but that's that's expected if i click on configure and click on anonymous and connect fingers crossed Voila, yeah, we get the JSON something, something in JSON. This is a binary file. So <laughs> it's not visible in the user interface, but it's the function is still available. You can still use the function. And I just noticed you cannot really see my face here. Hi there. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Let me go back to advanced editor and uh, add a comma here and enter parsed. Let me make another variable. And here I can do JSON dot, uh, let me look up what, what this one is. So Power Query documentation, JSON dot document. This is the function I wanna use. JSON dot document. And I can use a source here. Let's see if this works. Parsed, uh, all right, okay. Yay! <laughs> I got a list of all the countries now. That's great. Let me see if I can um, if I can click that. It never works when I when I just blindly click through through this this files. But yay! All right. So I've got the regions. I've got subregions. I've got languages, and this all came from KPIs, and it even gives this flag emojis all right this api is so awesome <laughs> i'll paste the link into the description but okay fine so um yeah let me go back <laughs> it's it's so amazing so microsoft is actually hiding the button but the functionality is still there i mean it's expected you you i don't know if they're really hiding it i'm not sure about that but you can still use it even if you're on a mac there is nothing from stop, stopping you from using power query uh, within Excel on a Mac um, and use the web connectors. So yeah, there you have it. Um, stay tuned for more secrets. Bye. Cheers.